it is the best time of year guys i have my pumpkin spice latte here in the middle of the night got my fire pit got my snuggie on and it is freezing outside here in pennsylvania and today i'm talking to you all about my edc camera bag that is on my person my crossbody bag i wear every single day when i leave the house and how it allows me to get all the stuff out of my pockets and more the bag that I chose after tons and tons of research, as you know from clicking on the title of this video, is the Moment Fanny Sling Bag version 2. It really does say it in the name. It can go from a fanny pack to a crossbody bag just like that. That was super important to me when looking for bags because sometimes when I'm out on the weekends, I'm wearing my son or I'm carrying kids and have other stuff going on and I need to have it in the small of my back. And that was actually harder to find than you realize. A lot of these other bags do not have the flexibility to go from fanny to actual crossbody. And most of them are more focused on a small messenger crossbody bag setup, which which is not what I was looking for. So this 100% can cinch down and be worn as a fanny pack. So if that's important to you, this is definitely the bag for you. I wanted this bag specifically to be able to fit my Fujifilm X-C4 everyday carry camera and a film camera on the side, as well as some trinkets and other things I end up carrying in my pockets. So this bag is two and a half liters. And what I love about this bag is this Moment Fanny Bag has the ability to pack up and pack down. It has these awesome cinch straps. When you're packing the bag out, you're able to uncinch the straps, make them looser, and then you're able to stuff a lot of stuff inside, and there's cinch straps on the top and the bottom. I definitely do not ever see myself using the bottom straps for any sort of tripod, but I do like the ability that if there's nothing else in the bag, I can cinch it tighter. The synth straps are one of those things, guys, that if you were looking for a crossbody bag, you should make sure you have those synth straps on the side. Super important. In my opinion, it keeps the bag compressed on the side, and that's what allows the crossbody bag to be sleek. Sit underneath your arm, right around your hip or your waist, throw it on your back, and it doesn't feel super clunky. That is definitely something I would look for. Synths, <sighs> cinch straps. Make sure you keep an eye for those when you're looking for a bag. Something else that was important to me was having a top load bag because I wanted to be able to place the bag flat next to me, unzip with one hand, bam, and easily open up the bag and begin to look inside and see everything that's going on. I also love about this bag how the inside is a lighter color. Black, amazing on the outside, but the inside is a light gray. And so you're easily able to find everything that's going on inside of the bag without any issues. Another nice point of this bag is the bag is waterproof. It's made of recycled Kodra and it has a double layer of waterproofing. So you're not gonna have to worry about any of the items inside and that's nice for me because neither my phone camera or my everyday camera are weather sealed. So they're nice and safe inside of this bag. Most bags use YKK zippers and this bag also has YKK reverse coil zippers. Super nice, easy to open. You can open them one handed. I don't like too much storage, too many mess pockets and too many hidden aspects of the bag, but I really liked some sort of flexibility where I was able to put things inside of pockets so it just wasn't one massive dump pocket. My old bag that I used for a long time from H&M, it was this one massive dump pocket. You opened up and your keys were over here and your AirPods were over here and your everything was this everywhere. And I really think that Having some sort of organization inside of the bag is very helpful, especially with there being three different pockets on the bag. It allows you to be flexible in terms of what you want to put in the middle in the main bag. You have a quick grab bag in the front of the bag, and in the back of the bag you can you know, put a couple bucks, dollar bills, keep them safe, a passport pocket is most people, but I don't know who really carries a passport on an everyday basis, but I mean, it's, it's great to have that option and your phone actually does fit inside of there, which is really nice. So sometimes I end up putting my phone inside of the back pocket if I'm putting my phone in the bag because most times my cameras take up most of the space inside the main compartment with the other small trinkets and items that I have in there. So let's get into the only gripe that I have with this bag. Inside of the main compartment is a key leash. I absolutely love the key leash. The key leash is amazing. It has this awesome microfiber cloth built on top of it. It's awesome. It's just attached. It never comes off. It's super stretchy. So it's easy to get your keys out and into your door if you're unlocking something. But the issue that I have is I would really have loved for them to put it in the smart front 
quick grab pocket instead of the main compartment. For me, my key fob barely fits in any of the little side pockets and my keys usually end up jangling around inside of the main pocket and I'm scared that it'll scratch my lens since I don't ever have lens caps on inside of my bags. Don't get mad at me for that, but I really wish they would have added the key leash inside of the quick grab pocket on the front. That would have made everything so much better. Um, personally, that's really the only gripe I have with the bag. All right, guys, so as you can see in the top part of the bag, I have inside my XE4 camera. Love this thing. And I have my 27 millimeter with my square hood on it. That fits in there. Most times when I'm out and about, I carry a diaper and some flushable wipes because you never know. Since I do not really put my phone inside of my fanny pack just because I'm always on my phone, I'm always using it while I'm driving, I'm using it in and out all the time. So I don't really put my phone inside of here, but inside I have a really cool black case that's actually from Rode. And inside of that, I have toothpicks, I have chapstick, and I have some Advil because you never know when you're going to get a headache. And like I said, that's no fun. So make sure you're prepared. It's the whole point. You have the fanny pack in the first place. On the other side of the phone area, there is a nice fleece lined pouch for sunglasses. Sometimes I put my sunglasses in here depending on how much other stuff I have inside. But right now I currently have a couple hair ties and some random gear straps just in case I need to strap anything up or have cable management because I am a freak when it comes to cable management. In the far left side in this little stash pocket, I keep my Clever Supply uh, black leather strap. I absolutely love that thing with the uh, anchor links from Peak Design. And I also keep a CR123A battery in there to test film cameras if I'm out and about thrifting and I find something I want to check out. On the right hand side of the bag in that same spot, I smash my keys, my key fob in there and getting to the back part of the bag. I carry cash sometimes. I have inside of here right now some receipts. I have a couple business cards and I also have a gift card or two. Keep it easy, right? Inside the quick grab pocket, I carry a couple different things depending on what I'm doing that day. I have inside right now a Skeletal Multi-Tool by Leatherman. Absolutely love this thing. It's super nice to have pliers and knife, screwdrivers, different bits that I can carry around. I have, of course, a card reader um, for a phone or an iPad, just in case Bluetooth is not working on my Fujifilm XE4. And I also carry a knife of some sort. This is the Wesson Microblade, I believe is what it's called. And then the other one is a James Brand knife. And I love the James Brand knife because the James Brand knife has a little screwdriver tip. So many photographers, as you know, when you're out and about, uh, you're needing to adapt and fix and, and screw things on and you never have a screwdriver, well, this works perfectly instead of a quarter. So with all that said, this bag can fit a ton of stuff. It can fit everything you need to carry and more. So if you're interested in this bag, you can click the link down below. It's my Amazon storefront. It has direct links to everything inside of the bag. If you're interested in purchasing any of those, it's no extra cost to you and it helps support the channel. Uh, honestly, guys, other than that, I wanted to keep this short, simple, and sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and thanks for checking it out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See ya.